Welcome back to How to Authority. Now, eSIMs have been really taking off in the past couple of years, and thankfully, unlike with iPhones, where some models only accept eSIM, on Samsung devices, you can pretty much still choose whether you go with eSIM or with a physical SIM, depending on your personal preference. So here's exactly how to activate an eSIM on your Samsung device. Now, thankfully, it is very, very simple. So first off, you wanna go into the Settings app, which is just this cog icon right here, so just tap on that. And then right at the top, you see this, the connections menu. So just tap into that again. From there, you wanna go, of course, into the SIM manager, which should be near the bottom of this menu. And it may take a while to load this other menu, but as you can see right here, it kind of loaded instantly for me. So don't worry if it's taking a while to load all of your SIMs up. From there, you wanna go onto add eSIM and you'll be given several options then on how to proceed. Again, it can take a while, but as you can see, we are now in. So there's several options. The first one is to transfer a SIM from another phone if you have an eSIM already active there. So you wanna tap on that, and it's gonna guide you for all the instructions. But the way it basically works is that you just place two unlocked phones next to each other, and then the transfer will get carried out. Then you also have the option to scan a QR code. Now, most of the time, your provider will just give you a piece of paper with a QR code that will then activate your eSIM. However, sometimes you may get it in a digital form as well. For example, in an email or in an app you may be using, etc. So at that point, you also go to scan QR code and you get the option to even choose an image with a QR code in it to then get accepted. Then the final option here is just search for eSIMs if you have some kind of eSIM installed on your device already, but it's not getting detected. So you can just tap on that and as you can see, it does a quick search and if it comes back with anything, it will let you know. But okay, that is how you add a brand new eSIM. However, you can also convert an existing physical SIM card into an eSIM as well for, you know, convenience or what have you. So let's go over how to do that. First off, we have to go back into the settings menu. You want to go back into the SIM manager like before, but this time you want to click on your physical SIM card at the very top, just like this. Now, depending on who your provider is, here you may get the option to actually convert it to an eSIM. As you can see, I don't have that option, but if you have a compatible SIM card, then you will have a button right there to allow you to do that. And once you do convert it, then your physical SIM will no longer work. And the best thing is that all of that works on pretty much any model of Samsung Galaxy phones. So as you saw, a lot of it just depends on who your actual provider is. Some may, for example, not support converting from physical to eSIM. Some may not offer eSIMs at all, or there may be some that have entirely migrated over to eSIMs as well. So it depends on quite a few factors on that front. But still, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to How to Authority for more like this in the future.